All right, hundreds of people are lacing up for a special stroll this morning. And Sacra is live right here in West Sacramento, kicking off the walk to end Alzheimer's. Well, good morning, guys. We're here at River Walk Park over in West Sacramento, right in front of the steps. And I'm keeping my voice down because the opening ceremonies are happening right now. Our very own Marley Ginter opened things up as the MC, and now people are sharing their testimonies, their stories on how they and their families have been touched by Alzheimer's. And so the reason everybody is gathered here today is because it's the walk to end Alzheimer's put on by the Alzheimer's Association. And there's nearly 2,000 people out here. There's a sea of purple and also team shirts and a lot of people that came out in big groups. Good morning, Linda and Elizabeth. How are you guys doing? Great. It's a wonderful morning. It's a wonderful morning. And this is going to be a scenic walk, but also an important walk. Tell us a little bit about your story and why you got involved with the Alzheimer's Association? Sure. I got involved with the Alzheimer's Association because both of my um, in-laws have passed away from the disease. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and their mothers. And this was very important. I want to make sure that research is done and there's a cure for my husband's family and, and his kids and his siblings. I don't want to see, I want to see a world without Alzheimer's. And something that I remember from what Marley was saying is this is something that can feel lonely when you feel like you're in it by yourself. But out here, we've proven that that is not the case. So tell us when you look at all of these people out here, what has been your view? It's amazing. You might think it could be sad or depressing, but actually it's so uplifting and fun to be part of a movement to defeat Alzheimer's and all dementias. The stigma is gone when you're surrounded by people who know what you're going through and the people who are here if they haven't been directly affected or have loved ones like Linda's family my family uh, we've all been through it or there are people who just care and want to be there to show support it's it's fun and if you look around the crowd you might notice that that everybody's holding pinwheels and the colors are actually significant can you tell us a little bit about the meaning of the thing and it's actually just starting right now so we have four colors the orange flower is for those who support the mission they want to create a, a different world when it comes to Alzheimer's. I'm holding the purple flower because I lost my mother to Lewy body dementia. So everyone who's lost someone is holding purple. The yellow flowers are held by those who are caregivers for those with Alzheimer's or dementia. And the blue flowers are those living with Alzheimer's or related dementia. And we're here to support all of those individuals. Well, it's so beautiful that, you know, you can see the groups around you and, and maybe learn a little bit about people's stories because the colors help you kind of put the pieces together. Right? Absolutely. It's so meaningful to show people holding a flower and to know that person lost someone too or that person is a caregiver or a supporter or living with the disease. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is the biggest fundraiser in the world for Alzheimer's is this walk. And so today out here, they're about to kick things off at 10 a.m. is when they're going to start walking. And clearly, there are so many people out here that care about this cause. We have Marley wrapping things up right now with the ceremony. And you see all those pinwheels turning. What a beautiful sign of all of these people coming together in order to end Alzheimer's. All right, thank you so much for that, and good to see Marley out there as well taking part of that event.